My name is Connor Jensen. I am the Analytics Program Director and Interim Lead Data Scientist for Zurich North America. Our insurance products cover companies in over 200 countries around the world. The analytics is an enormous deal for what we do. The cost of goods sold for our products is an unknown. We don't know what the risk that our customers is actually going to face are. It's all statistics and probability. There's a little bit of an arms race in the insurance industry, and, and it really is around data and analytics and who can use that the best. So investing in predictive analytics was really a key strategic initiative for our organization because we realized that the ability to do work and more advanced analytics across the data is going to be the differentiator for insurance companies going forward in the, the next couple of decades. Two to three years ago, we were doing essentially a strategy project to talk about what is the most important investments for us as a global organization going through the rest of this decade. And the investment in advanced analytics was you know, one of the key investments that we decided to make. We're trying to move to using more and more of the data, which as data scales with new devices and new sources of data going, the ability to scale the analytics across those larger volumes of data is incredibly important. So when we were looking at building out our platforms, we really wanted to look for things that could do that distributed learning, that could do the or the in-memory processing. We need to be able to do those to be able to grow with the data as we are having more and more of it come in. So the ability to bring in new sources of data and new features to test against to figure out what the predictors of risk are is immensely important. We've been doing analytics for a long time using the traditional enterprise analytics platforms. Where there's a handful of them out there. And those aren't moving as quickly as the field is anymore. And so being in open source was really, really important to us because we wanted to be able to move at the speed of the fastest part of the market. That was absolutely a huge part of our decision making. We didn't want to be captive to just one tool set that the provider decided to give to us. We wanted the flexibility to be able to mix and match different types of tools because there's not always one tool that is the perfect tool for every solution. So we wanted to be more flexible and as we were going open source, we wanted open source products that fit with R and Python and those things that are moving out there. So when we're going to that end user to implement the models and to give that out to them, we need to be able to tell the story with the data. It's not just here is the end result model. And so having tools like H2O Flow that would give you, here's the story of here's where the data came from, here's what we're seeing from a visualization perspective, that helps build confidence in the models and helps the end users understand how to use them. The chance to use open source really allows you to take a gamble and take bets on new technology without having to go all in. If you're wrong and it's not the right product, you haven't lost as much and it allows you to be a lot more nimble as you can try something new, try it out, see how it works, and then if it works, scale it and use it across your organization. If it doesn't work, you can move on to the next one in a completely different way that doesn't require the same amount of uh, infrastructure investment and time and energy on training that used to happen. As we were building out our team and growing the analytics function, it was actually a big deal from a recruiting perspective. The data science community is moving and changing so quickly and the shortage of data scientists that is out there, it was really important to be able to have an environment that would attract the right candidates and the right talent to come into our organization. I have a dedicated team within my group that manages our interactions with the rest of the business. They are in constant communication with the presidents of our business units and with the C-suite to make sure that what we're doing is actually solving a need that the business faces or problems that the business is facing because we have to be generating value.